Alright guys, here's the review which you guys have been waiting for. This is uh, the review for Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0.1 recently launched by Google. Uh, though the, the official device which is supposed to carry the official source for Ice Cream Sandwich is not released in US but the source for the 4.0.1 Android was released by Google a few weeks back and the developers at xda.developers.com they they started making custom ROMs from it and I am having a Windows 6.5 HD2 launched by HTC in 2009 it's a beautiful phone, phone with 4.3 inch screen 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor 512 MB RAM. I've used this phone for almost all the gingerbread ROMs. HD7, HD7.5, uh, Windows 7, Windows 7.5, sorry. Uh, and it's it's just running perfect. And now we are testing this phone to its limit by putting Android 4.0.1 on it. So here we go. Let's boot it up. I've actually um, installed Android. 4.0.1 on this long time back in the morning and so I have made little customizations which you will see and I'll just talk about the different features which separate this ROM from its predecessor which is Gingerbread 3.x series sorry 2.x series 3.x was Honeycomb which was not released by Google and now this 4.0.1 uh, ice cream sandwich has the features of gingerbread and honeycomb plus also it inherits a lot of features from windows 7 and uh, the not so popular web os which was just recently discarded by hp and uh, you can see the boat the boot animation is still the honeycomb one and in this phone here we go that's we get the start screen you can see the lock lock is just like the honeycomb lock so let's go ahead so this is basically a custom rom which is not yet complete some of the features in this rom are still not working like camera and uh, hardware acceleration so but most of the features are working so it can be used for daily use except you cannot have the camera so you can see here we have the Google transparent search bar and then the analog clock plus the different icons ice cream sandwich icons and let's go ahead and check it out you see it's it's pretty smooth now in this phone they have normally the ice cream sandwich phones will have virtual buttons over here as you see in the honeycomb tablets but since this is a custom ROM we are using the hard hard keys over here on the phone so it won't have any virtual keys so you can see these are the applications most of them are preloaded and you can see how smooth the GUI is and these are the widgets that come by default uh, with this ROM with this uh, ice cream sandwich so let's go ahead and start with some of the noticeable features. The first most, most noticeable feature is the GUI and uh, the icons are different plus it's it's the the as you can see the pictures are more clear if you go and check out the wallpapers you'll feel the difference the the picture pixel density it seems much better than um, gingerbread and froyo so it's it's much it's it looks pretty cool all right let's set this up wallpaper and let's go ahead all right uh, the dialer is same as as we have seen in a lot of ICS themes pretty cool you press long press one and get voicemail you can search the contacts that's a good feature you don't need to go to contest you can just search it from here then you slide you can get the recent call list and the favorites now the good thing about this is 
that in 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 all of this operating system they have used this sliding feature where you can just accept the different tabs by just sliding left or right which is kind of a feature from windows 7 using the tile gui as you can see different contexts as different tiles so so this was let's look at the context it's again similar to what uh, people application in Windows 7 phones and uh, the context is with a high definition picture at the background and if if you call someone you'll actually see a big picture of that person which is actually synced from the person's Twitter account and Facebook account so this is also very similar to what we see in Windows 7 <clears throat> now the messaging part is pretty good um, and actually let's try this let me send a message to myself and this is like a tap feature you sorry actually I have to look it from here let's do it like this hey how are you doing? This is something which you have seen in the Android 4.0 advertisement. Well, it's not that great. Delete. press delete oh. anyways let's just try to send it and you'll see it's pretty cool okay so this is the messaging you can attach the messages it's it's similar to you can send videos you can capture a video record an audio you can send so kind of similar to what we see in the gingerbread and let's go to Google Talk which also comes as an application now this Google Talk is basically preloaded with voice and video chat so you can share video chat and voice chat with the friends it's a, and it's a inbuilt Gmail app which is kind of pretty cool they tweaked a lot of this slide things and if you want to go back just go back and you can change the folder you can change the folders from here you see let me make it a little, a little better let's do it like this okay cool <coughs> 